Hi guys, I recently had a question. What is the difference between synthetic B1 and natural B1, okay? Well, first of all, B1 is so important when you do keto and intermittent fasting. Um, B1 has the power to protect uh, your arteries from the damage of high sugar and high insulin. It can protect the myelin sheath in the nervous system from the dangers of high sugar and high insulin. And so when you're deficient in B1, you get all sorts of problems inside the artery, which can build up to a clot. You get all sorts of damage within the nervous system, which leads to peripheral neuropathies. B1 is amazing to pull stress out of the body and to make you feel less stressful. Um, but when you consume sugar, you deplete B1. And when you consume refined grains, you really deplete B1 and you start getting all sorts of symptoms um, that are called like berry berry. You can look it up. But Synthetic B1 uh, is made from coal tar, ammonia, acetone, hydrochloric acid, and some other chemicals. Um, it's not the same as natural. Um, thymine mononitrate or thymine hydrochloride is the name of the synthetic B1. 85% uh, of the world's B1 comes from China. They make it so, so cheap. And uh, it's in all the prenatals, it's in the one-a-days, children's vitamins, uh, vitamins for older people, I mean, it's in so many different things. That's what they use to enrich the flour products, the grains, the pasta. It's all enriched with synthetic B vitamins. So there's only two exceptions that I would recommend taking synthetic vitamins. Number one, if you're doing a detoxification, okay? And that's a different reason than some maintenance dose of B1, okay? That's one exception. And the other is, let's say you have peripheral neuropathy and you have pain in the feet or the fingertips and you wanna take something called benfotamine, which is a fat-soluble B1 product, um, then go ahead and take it because there's really no side effects uh, from that product. But in general, don't take this as a maintenance. I don't recommend it. Get it from nutritional yeast. And also, when you're trying to determine if something's synthetic or natural, uh, go ahead and look at the ingredients. Um, if it doesn't come from food or nutritional yeast and it has a bunch of chemicals, then we know it's synthetic. If the numbers are all whole numbers, like 100, let's say it's a B-complex, like 100 uh, milligrams of B1, 100 milligrams of B2, 100 milligrams of B3, or 50 milligrams, it's all whole numbers, you know it's synthetic, okay? So the best source of natural B vitamins, especially B1, is from nutritional yeast. Thanks for watching. So I wanna know what you're interested in as far as an, a future video. Click the link down below and share some ideas I wanna hear.